So I care for adults who were born with heart-related birth defects, and we call these people people with adult congenital heart disease. And adult congenital heart disease is a lifelong condition. So even though people might have had surgery or other interventions, we say they're fixed, but they're not cured. They need lifelong care. And in fact, it's in adulthood that we start to see new late onset complications. The most important of which is heart failure, because it's the leading cause of disability and death for our adults with congenital heart disease. But what makes it very difficult is it's heart failure unlike any other form of heart failure. So all of the heart failure guidelines that have been written, they've been written for different people with heart failure, not these adults with congenital heart disease. Similarly, the adult congenital heart disease guidelines, they haven't been written for people with heart failure. So we really need to develop a completely new language and new services that are dedicated to the care of these young adults, often in the prime of their lives, who have been very resilient and responded to the challenge of living with congenital heart disease, but who now have their latest challenge, and that is heart failure. Heart failure can occur at any age, and in our congenital heart disease patients, some actually are diagnosed with heart failure at the time that they're born. So some of our patients with congenital heart disease, they have heart transplants shortly after being born. Many of the patients I see in the adult clinic are in their 20s, 30s, 40s, right through to their 70s, and they've developed heart failure later in life. The kinds of symptoms that we're looking for are things like unexplained breathlessness, unexplained fatigue, not being able to do things in our daily life that we used to be able to do because of those symptoms, swelling in the legs, swelling in the abdomen, feeling uncomfortable laying flat in bed at night because there's pressure and fluid building up in the lungs, and perhaps other complications like new onset palpitations, changes in the heart rhythm. These are all symptoms that we're looking for that would suggest that maybe someone is at risk of developing heart failure. We need to see them so that we can run some simple tests, blood tests, um, an X-ray, an EKG, and an ultrasound of the heart. We're trying to reach young adults who have very unique hearts and that need very unique care. And those unique hearts are due to the presence of congenital heart disease. And they may also have this complication of heart failure. It sounds like a very niche group of people, but in fact, we've just done some research nationally that has demonstrated that 20% of all hospital admissions for these young adults with congenital heart disease were for the problem of heart failure. So what I know is that there's a lot of people out there, maybe even someone listening to this today, that has symptoms that are suggestive of heart failure and that would really benefit uh, from having the unique care for the unique hearts here at the Mayo Adult Congenital Heart Disease Clinic.